So a large air tanker is defined as any air tanker over 3,000 gallons, up to 9,000 gallons. The Colson fleet of C-130s operate the Retardant Aerial Delivery System, or the RADS tank, which is a 4,000 gallon tank. So with the tanking system that we have installed in the aircraft, we can deliver anywhere from a coverage level 1 to a level 12. And the coverage level is defined as the amount of retardant in gallons per 10 by 10 box, so on a 100 square foot box. The latest weapon in the aerial fight against fire. Our goal is from the time they give us a tasking to be airborne in 15 minutes. This 737 large air tanker can carry up to 15,000 litres of water or retardant. Based in Sydney's northwest, it can be sent to bushfire hotspots nationwide. That might be stopping a fire from spreading that's just kicked off, or it might be that it, to try and uh, put a line between the fire and houses. Up until the black summer bushfires, there were no national firefighting aircraft. It was a key recommendation of the Royal Commission to establish a federal fleet. We saw it here last year, but now the government has secured the Colson Fireliner on a permanent lease, ready to do battle anywhere, anytime. This large aerial tanker is a bushfire's worst nightmare. This large air tanker has only been in Australia for a week and it's already seen action. It was on standby in Adelaide for what was expected to be a catastrophic fire day and it was helping to put out fires in northern New South Wales just yesterday. This Boeing 737 tanker will be based at the Richmond RAAF base and operated by Colson Aviation. It takes just 10 to 12 minutes to fill with 15,000 litres of water or retardant and can be airborne in 15 minutes after getting the call to action. Our job is to get retardant on the ground which slows the fire down and allows the people on the ground to actually put the fire out. That also means pilots flying this large jet close to the ground. We've spent a lot of time training them and getting them ready to be comfortable working in the low-level low environment uh, next to a fire. Operating at low level and in some of the toughest flying conditions imaginable, the large air tanker has been sent on nearly 600 missions this bushfire season. There it is. Often as the last line of defence. Protect the town. I can't congratulate the skill of these pilots enough it's, it's incredibly impressive and I'm, I'm genuinely in awe of them. In countries like Chile, the large air tanker can be very useful because we can go for long dispatches and we're often carrying a lot more fuel. We typically start our day off with about six hours of fuel on board, which gives us a long range. So that means if we do have a fire and for some reason we had to hold over the fire for tactical reasons, we could do so for a longer amount of time and also make it back to the reload bases. A real world example of the benefit of the C-130 is at one point, it was late in the season and we were called to a fire way up north and the northern base is already shut down but c-130 having the long legs that it does we took off and we were able to get to the fire and back before dark whereas some of the other air tankers weren't capable of making that range i'm maximiliano sanchez i'm the translator pilot for the air track plane here in uh, chile hola mi nombre es felipe rifo soy el piloto traductor en el c-130 acá en el sur de chile Now we're kind of facing the... All right, 9 Charlie Hotel. This is ahead, ahead, right? Yeah, Correct. Going right that here. way. Copy. Just want to make sure. The area is clear. And we're clear for the drop, too. Okay. Travis, whenever you guys are ready, the area is clear and you're clear for the drop. Okay. But I'm good for the good. drop. All right. So I didn't see obstacles down there. It's a little bit of rolling terrain. We're not going to get sucked in anything. We'll take a look at it on final. Starting just a little bit before where that smoke is and dragging out we can. Coverage level 6, please, Charlie. 6 set. Box pops on. Anchors armed. Bleeds are coming close. 127, five sir, tracking on. 600 feet, I have the train on the other side. Okay. Your final and exit are clear, you're clear of drop. All right, and ready, ready, hack. Half tank, quarter tank, out. Clear. Good start, good line, that's what they were looking for. Eh, la gran diferencia que se puede ver con el C-130 versus los aviones, el tractor que tiene con AF, es la carga de agua y la cantidad que puede descargar en un incendio. 15.000 litros de agua versus los tractores que cargan 3.000. If you're laying long lengths of line, you can have 
basically an undivided length of line, whereas if you're using multiple smaller air tankers, you have to make sure that you have a positive overlap. If you can lay a long length of line with one aircraft, then you're gonna have less breaks in that line, which is less holes for the fire to get through. Okay, having a C-130 on the scene, uh, you can notice the difference. One recent experience we had, like when the boys showed up on the C-130, made the retardant line, and then we came back the next day and saw that the same fire where we dropped the retardant line, it was like perfect. I mean, it stopped right there. I brought the C-130 down to Chile for our first contract a couple of years ago, and the reception was very warm, very welcoming by not only the companies we were working for, but the people of Chile. Estoy muy orgulloso de pertenecer a este trabajo porque puedo prestar ayuda a gente que está trabajando en tierra, poder proteger el área verde de acá del país de Chile. Proud doing this job because it's really comforting when you see that actually helping people uh, on the ground, the houses and families. Usually it's a combination of different types of tankers that are most effective to combat a fire. The large air tanker can be an initial attack platform, which means that we can go to a fire and conduct fire operations without aerial supervision or a lead plane pilot. However, we do also work well as a team, utilizing aerial supervision, lead plane pilots, helicopters, single engine air tankers, all of the necessary tools to better support the guys and the girls on the ground.